Hey y'all, it's Nana. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make my award-winning Cinnamon Crispy Cookies. This recipe actually um, started for Mimi. And I have a helper today. It's Aaliyah. Hi, everybody. She's being silly. She's going to help me make some cookies today. So let's go ahead and get started. So I want to go over the ingredients with you all. We've got the oatmeal. We've got flour. Sugar, so there's two cups, two cups, two cups, a cup of Crisco. We also have um, two, what is that, it's molasses, two tablespoons of molasses. And then we've got salt, we got cinnamon, cinnamon, I'm sorry, vanilla extract, baking soda, and baking powder. And I'll put all the amounts in the recipe. Actually, let me just look at, look at it real quick so it's... um. One teaspoon salt, two teaspoons cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, one half teaspoon of soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, and of course we've got our um, two cups, two cups, two cups, and one cup of that. So to start off with, we're going to go ahead and cream together the sugar and the shortening. So let me get them in the bowl, because you're going to need the bowl, you're going to need your cooking pan and the mixer. So let me go ahead and get those in the bowl, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have all the ingredients, well, not all ingredients. I have the sugar and the shortening in the bowl, and I'm just going to go ahead and start mushing it up some here. We are going to end up using the, the blender, but it's easier, I think, to just kind of start mixing them together with a fork. That way, when you start with the blender, it doesn't, like, shoot out all over the place. I'm going to let Aaliyah try her hand at this, too, because she's probably going to have to teach her mama how to do this. Which is the, exactly the reason why I'm making these videos. If anyone's seen these before, these are for my kids. So I'm not a chef, but I do want to make videos for my children and my grandchildren. So when they want to know how something is made, they can come back to the video. So I'm going to let Aaliyah try this a little bit here. Go ahead and mix that up. Just kind of keep smushing it together. So we're gonna work on this for just a little bit, just a couple more minutes, and then I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute, and then we're gonna get the blender after it. We'll be right back. All right, so Leah mixed this up pretty good for me. She, what'd, she, what'd you say this looked like? Snow. Looks like snow. Yeah, and by the way, it is snowing outside here today. So now we're gonna get it with the blender, and I'm gonna start this on low, just so it doesn't go all over the place. And we have to try to cream this together. And I'm gonna let Aaliyah, that's loud. I'm gonna let Aaliyah, so you just keep creaming it together. I'm gonna let Aaliyah cream, cream this together some too. Um, we don't need to have all that on this video. And then we'll come right back to you guys. Aaliyah's working it, she's doing a pretty good job right now. All right, so Lee did a pretty good job mixing it up. What'd you say this looked like? Now it looks like mashed potatoes. So yeah, when you think it looks like kind of like mashed potatoes, then that means it's good and creamed together. So that's a good example. Now we're gonna add all of our rest of our ingredients to this. Hang on, just one minute. Let me get this out of here. All right, Aaliyah, let's start dumping stuff in. All of, all of these little one things? at a time. So yep, go ahead and dump There's it in. The, what's this one? That's the baking powder. Just dump it all in. Okay. There you go. This one is baking the, soda. This one the cinnamon. Cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Make sure to get it all out of there. Okay. <clears throat> um, this one is the vanilla. Vanilla extract. And I don't know what this one is. That's molasses, and you're gonna need to use this fork to get it all out of there. Actually, let me go grab a spoon while you're pouring that in. It looks like, um... You ever heard of the saying, you slow it was molasses? That's because, see yes. how slow it is? Alright, Nana will scrape yes. this out of there. Well, you want to grab some other stuff? And then this is sugar. That's salt. Oh, salt. Looks like sugar, though. Uh, do we need to add these things? Yeah, we're going to add those, too. I want to do this the... one for last, because I want to show you the Alright, so go ahead and put the oatmeal in. 
Oops, sorry guys. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry guys, in the east. Yeah. And do we do this one? Yep, put the flower in there. <laughs> Alright, we got it all in. What does it smell like pumpkin? It's cinnamon you're smelling and molasses. Oh, it smells like pumpkin. Alright, so as you can see, we're going to need to mix this together good. So we'll be back in just a minute. Bye. All right, so here we are. We're mixing this stuff together. And it's making a mess. You can use your mixer for this for a little bit. I don't know if that was... There we go. You don't know if that was what? Yeah, that's kind of making a mess. We need to I think we need to just keep mixing with this. So apparently I forgot the eggs. I was like, why does this look so dry? So I'm gonna put the eggs in here. Second one. Yeah. I knew something didn't look right. It was too dry. All right, let me. That's better. You need to show them outside. All right, so we're going to just keep mixing on this. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, everybody, we got this good and mixed up. You just want to make sure that the cookie dough is all good and blended through all the way. If it looks all crumbly like this, it's really supposed to. It's... There's not, as you know, much moisture in this. Um, making sure I added my eggs, which I almost forgot. But now you can either drop these by teaspoonfuls into onto a greased or ungreased cookie sheet. And you're going to bake these for 350 for 10 minutes. I like to use one of these numbers because I think it just makes your cookies all uniform in size. And we can drop these on the cookie sheet over here <coughs> Oops, okay let me go ahead and flip that over once you get these all on the cookie sheet um you're actually going to get this over here smash them with a fork let's see there we go. Probably three on this one each way. And then we're going to take our fork and I'm going to smash it this way and smash it this way. This way. And this way. And this way. And then this way. All right, we're going to finish filling up this cookie sheet because it's pretty big. I'm going to have Aaliyah help me learn how to use the scooper. And we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so we had a little technical difficulty. Let's see if we can uh, salvage this. But we've got all the cookies on the cookie sheet. Aaliyah learned how to put them in the scooper and smash them. And she's, oh, there she is. Um, Make sure you follow my YouTube, Aaliyah Rowan. Oh, look at her trying to take some action off of Nana's video. But, yeah, she's got some of her little own. Go, go subscribe. Right now. We've got some of her videos out there too. So we're going to pop these in the oven for 10 minutes at 350 and we'll come back and we'll show you what they look like. Okay, just took the cookies out of the oven. Mmm, they smell so good. And if anyone else is watching this or watches this and you're thinking these are just oatmeal cookies because they have oatmeal in them, they're not. They might have oatmeal in them, but these are cinnamon crispy cookies, and they're delicious. Just a little tip for my kids, too. Um, if you want to make some cookies, we don't have time to do everything today, you know, that, that day of. You can always measure your ingredients out the day before, and then just put them in the little dishes and make sure to cover them with plastic stuff. It's pretty handy um, to be able to save some time. So, the other two are on the 
trays on the sheets. This makes about three dozen cookies. So, hope you all enjoy. Say bye, Leah. Bye. Move like a snake. All right. Take care, y'all. Everybody, go get cooking.